the bizarre King Zog. He was president and king of Albania. Yeah, he did a lot of things. He was a really big smoker. Born October 8, 1895, in Castle Brigitte, Albania, his original name was Zoguli, not Zog. He sided with Austria during World War I and even became the leader of the Reformist Party. At the age of 16, he was the governor of the district of Mati in Albania. And in 1922, he added to that title, Prime Minister of the Interim Government of Albania. He had trouble with the opposition in Albania after an attempt on his life in 1924, he relinquished the title of Prime Minister. There was a public upcry in June of 1924 over Zog's government, and he fled to the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. Well, at the time, it was called the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats, and Slovenes, but yeah, technicalities. He was eventually exiled, and in January 1st of 1925, Yugoslavia and Russia helped him return, and he became president of, on February 1st of that same year. He was proclaimed king on September 1st, 1928, also the first and last one. This guy has a really big legacy. He stabilized Albania and started a strong relationship with Italy in 1925. This would be his downfall. He was so close to Italy that he had gotten a loan in 1926 and he signed a 20 year friendship treaty and a security treaty in 1927 with them. Zog tried to remove himself from Italy, but in 1939, Mussolini invaded and unofficially controlled Albania. In April 7, 1999, Mussolini made Albania a protectorate and made Victor Emmanuel III king of Albania, and Zog was exiled. He supposedly survived 55 assassination attempts on his life over a 17-year political career. Interesting fact is the person who drove him out of Albania as Italy invaded was the James Bond writer Ian Fleming. Apparently, Zog loved smoking. He set alarms at night so they would wake him up so he could smoke. After World War II, Enver Hosha made Albania communist and Zog formally abdicated January 2nd, 1946. He died April 9th, 1961 in Suzanne, France. His remains were sent from France to Albania in 2012. Fact, after Albania tried to become democratic after the communist rule, there was an election to see if Zog's son, Leke I, would become king, which he won, but the Albanian government would not let him become king. After Leke's death, they issued an apology. Thank you guys, hit that like and subscribe, see you next video.